We're here with Kareem, all the talented artist and media molecule, and we're here with one of the co-founding fathers of Media Molecule himself. As is Kareem, Alex, and Kareem, yay! Back from the Louisville Planet, and they're awesome. And we're here to do one last live stream before uh, PXX comes to a close. So we hope you guys enjoy this and this uh, interview with uh, Kareem and Alex. Well, Kareem does this very talented sculpting. So let's go go straight to the interview since uh, we have some time. Oh, oh yes, I am. Uh, I'm ha at HyperDude53 on Twitter. I'm from Dream Bubble. Uh, it's a fan side based on the game created by my friends and I, and we're all here, you know, excited. I was really honored to um, be here at PXX with these guys. It's been a surreal experience, and uh, hopefully connecting with you guys. Um, ex being excited about all this new footage here with Dreams and everything like that. It's been quite surreal. Uh, let's go straight to the questions now. Now, some of these questions you may have heard before, but I'm going to um, say the same ones to different people to get a different interpretation of what they think about it based on dreams. And um, John and Anton were kind enough to actually answer these questions, and I hope so that Alex can too. So this is going to be a really fun yeah, time. basically bust us when we give a different answer. Different <laughs> <laughs> so tell about dreams, like the funny thing that we're showing in dreams today is like we're doing this like really honest development where we show you a lot of what we've got. Um, sometimes we don't have the answers simply because we don't know yet. Like we're yeah. still evolving the game, so... Um, we kind of listen to feedback, we love the fact that Green Bubble and, and the fan sites and uh, forums, you guys are like are so engaged, it's fantastic. And um, yeah, if we don't have the answers today or if things change, then you know, you'll have to forgive us, this is a work in progress. But, um, it's a fantastic yeah. work in progress. Our minds are already out of our body looking at this. I've, like, we've all seen that and people who were here streaming, they're really like, wow, in the end. Like, I asked for their impressions, they were amazed. Like right now, if you ship this game, it's already a game of the year. Now you're still adding more to it, it's gonna be like, how, how big is this gonna get? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Are you guys happy? Let's ha do the happy dance. And now, uh, can you just make it something with a skull and with the ground, some grass, multiple skulls? It's awesome. Yeah. It really looks. That skull looks really detailed, by the way. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, questions. questions, right. Um, now, will animation, such as facial animation expressions, be possible in dreams? Like we have in the imp right here. Like when I talk, the mouth talks to in the actual TV screen. Now, would that be the same? Can we do it for our own characters as well? Like that kind of yeah, logic? Absolutely. So, I mean, um, uh, you can basically grab uh, the record tool, and you, when you hit record, um, anything do will be played back. So, actually, Cream's going to do it right now. So, you just hit the record button. And then you can create things, delete things, move them around. Mm -hmm. And so he's like uh, duplicating this uh, this skull. And then he's recorded, and then he rewinds and plays. My mic is a bit closer. Like that? Okay. Oh, so now you can see like it's just playing back that animation. So in terms of like segmenting it up so the jaw could move, uh, we have tools for cutting cutting sculpts up. But basically, um, the best way of, the easiest way of making a character is actually to build it outwards from the biped. So, um, the short answer to your question is yes. Yay! Yeah, I mean, it, it, sometimes you have to jump through some hoops depending on how it was made, whether it was made in pieces or not. So I know that there's a skull in here somewhere which is like already cut into pieces, and so you can really easily make the mouth go blah 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 blah. <laughs> if you in one piece, then you have to do an extra step where you cut it up. But, but essentially, yes. Awesome. All right, and uh, will we have multiple audio files to different characters? Like, can we give them our own sounds and like have it multiple like play out? Sorry, so. Um, like say like sound effects. Can you make your own sound effects and then yeah. give them to the, like different voices for the characters if you want to make it like that or something like that or yeah, okay. So, um, uh, sorry, I actually can't hear you in my headphones. Oh, we, I, I'm just gonna take we're gonna improvise. Like, you can telepathically talk. I can tell <laughs> so yeah, I mean, um, absolutely. You can record your own sounds. Uh, you can even uh, import sounds on the on the website. So if you have samples that you particularly want to use come from outside the PlayStation, you can bring them in. And uh, then you, if you have a headset uh, that's plugged into your PlayStation 4, then you can use that to record uh, um, sounds. You also use that for like voice chat when you're online. So, mm -hmm. yes. So we can also do voice acting, yes. per se, logically. Exactly. We can do... And your imp will lip sync, as you said, uh, but we'll, we'll, uh, you can use the gadgets as well to uh, connect stuff up. And uh, yes, short answer, yes. Yay! Okay, uh, but we have the options to export our videos in HD, not just export to YouTube or straight play to PS4. So, and certainly for the beta, um, video is all through the 
share functionality on the PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. so, uh, um, that's the current plan for video. So depending on what the PlayStation 4 evolves over time, mm -hmm. um, that will be uh, subject to that. So the game uh, Dreams uh, doesn't directly export video uh, itself. If you do it through the share menu. Uh, will there be cloth simulation, like for the flag or a cape? I remember I tweeted you about this, you were hinting something about it. I don't know if yeah, you can talk more about it too. Middle of, um, uh, middle of working on that, so basically, uh, you're beginning to see some of our worlds come to life, but at the moment they're still pretty static, still made out of pieces. So, uh, a little bit like the Little Big Planet decorations. So if you're familiar with the Little Big Planet decorations and costumes, they had a sort of fluidity and, they, and you could attach kind of floppy things and cloth things. Uh, we have the same plan for Dreams, it's not actually finished yet, so we're not showing it because it's not done yet, but that is the plan. So the plan is yes, <coughs> right now in the build, no, but yeah, we, we hope so. Okay, uh, how diverse can skyboxes be? Can they like be loose, tight, realistic? Right, so yes, there's a whole bunch of uh, parameters. Tight and realistic, we haven't focused on, so uh, there's an underlying image, and I think we, we have 256 images in there at the moment. Um, we have plans to allow you to paint onto it as well. You can also manipulate the colors really easily, so like with a few strokes you can change the look of it. You can also change the texture and the tightness and how uh, much it boils and how much it's smooth. Fancy! Um, so there's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, it's, we're not focusing on like, uh, say, texture import. If we have like a panoramic photo, we could add that in the future, but at the right now uh, there's no photo import mode, but it's, it's possible, but it's not currently the focus. Like, we're trying to focus more on stuff that you can do with your hands rather than uh, like chunky kind of like messing around with JPEGs and stuff. It's like, yeah, maybe we can support that in the future. There's no technical barrier, but uh, we want to focus on stuff you can do on the PlayStation. You know, this kind of scribbling that Cream's doing is way more fun than like rooting around in a folder looking for some JPEGs. Definitely. Performance of fun. That's the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing James is about. Now you can export your objects well into, I assume, zip files. What you told us, I could be wrong. And then you can use it to put it uh, for 3D printing or anything that's friendly with that kind of application. And we've seen some pretty cool 3D printed videos. Like we saw Francis and we saw Johnny's mech here. It was fragile, but it was really cool. It was hand painted. It was amazing. And the fact that this we could also 3D print, like a little mini three skull hill or whatever, make your own little Indiana Jones set. I don't know. It's really amazing. But is there like any more you can talk about how that plays out or like what kind of specifics you have into that kind of stuff? Yeah, so the way it works at the moment and the way it works in the beta trial, and as I say, everything will evolve, but the way it works in the beta trial is um, every dream gets its own web page, and if the owner of that dream <coughs> has made it available for others to download, or if you own the dream yourself, you made it yourself, you'll be able to click on a button on the website and it just gives you a zip file right then and there. So it's basically one click and you get a zip file. The zip file contains a bunch of different things. Right now it contains um, a polygonal model of, 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 of everything that's in your dream. So if it's made out of multiple pieces, you get the pieces as separate meshes. And there's also one that's like all mashed together. So the really cool thing is if you've built something which is like segmented, like animatable, like a character, you'll get like the individual pieces separately, but you'll also get everything in one piece. So depending on where you want to take it, whether you want to print the whole thing as a whole, or whether you want to print it in pieces and then glue it back together again, we kind of try and keep it flexible for you. And I mean, uh, actually talking about pieces, the, what you can see behind is um, <coughs> Kareem has like loaded in some kind of truck model that someone modeled. I think John Beach made this one. And uh, the cool thing in Dreams is you don't have to use stuff for how it was originally intended, right? You can just take something and like, yeah, this was originally a train truck, but like actually now he's making Junk World and he's just kind of building up a, an environment. And then when you were, if you were to take this dream and you were to d try to download the, the zip file that represents this dream, you would mm -hmm. get like the pieces individually and then you get the pieces assembled and you can choose how you want to, where you want to go with it. That's really mind blowing. I love how you're being like in a way kind of open source where, okay, well, we still have, we have this as a PS4 exclusive, but you're slowly giving out features where you can like have it so you can expand outside of the PS4, like the exporting feature for instance. Right, I mean, I'd love dreams to become uh, a tool in everyone's arsenal. Like if you're a creative person, whether you're musical, whether you're artistic, whether you're um, into making games or stories or movies, dreams is like a new tool in your tool belt. Um, and, it, and it's all you need to do this stuff. Like I hope that dreams is like all you need, but at the same time, we have to acknowledge that the world out there, there are creative people, they have other outlets, they have 3D printing, they have Unity and Unreal and these other things, and so like Dreams is like an absolutely unique new addition to the to the like weapons of, of creativity in the modern world. It's, I love that too. It's like something I don't never saw any uh, video game company do before, and you guys are doing it. So what makes you special and awesome. Uh, will levels be held on the PS4 or on a cloud-based system? So right now, it's on the cloud, and uh, there's no reason why we can't save it on your, like, if you no LBP, like you have your moon, 
Um, so the beta trial is going to be online, connected only, and there might be some really great advantages to that. So basically, if your PlayStation crashes, if our beta's not finished and there's some bugs in there, you'll never lose any work because it's always on the server. So basically, as soon as you boot the wow. console, it's right there. So right now, Kareem is booting, and everything he's doing is being saved straight to the server as well. So he doesn't have to hit save. He doesn't have to like keep paranoidly like you know save save save. The server knows everything, um, and so the cloud is actually helpful there. And then, uh, yeah, we can absolutely add a feature to save locally to your save game or your hard drive. But um, uh, for the beta trial, um, the cloud is the best place to save this stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. The cloud. I have to do that. Yes, Nux. And yeah, I mean, uh, I think that uh, we will try to support whatever workflow you guys do. Part of what the beta trial is about is seeing how the community use this, because we have one way of using Dreams inside Media Molecule, but it's going to be interesting to see how you guys use it, and like we will evolve the game uh, depending on, you know, we'll, we'll look at what's going on and try and cool. respond. To it. Uh, how complex will the music sound effect creation tools will be? Uh, can you guys talk about that yet? Because I know you'll yeah, be showing I mean, sculpting and stuff. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to bore you by like rambling on and on and on, but yeah. we have them in this build, but they're Ooh. pretty rough. So we're not going to show them right now because okay. you can like all freak out and be like, oh, it's too debuggy. But but there's um, uh, Paul to audio coders and has been doing a great job. So I can kind of give you a, a, a feel. So Dreams is about performance, right? Like yes. It's all about performing. So the idea for the, um, Dreams is that like you perform with instruments. You can you can bring in samples, uh, whether they're the, we're going to supply thousands and thousands of samples of our own. And if you just want to use them and dump them in your level, like make a footstep or an explosion, just like any other asset, you'll be able to search the sound explosion. Place it down, remix it. But what's really awesome about Dreams is you can drill in and perform with that sound. So I could, like, there's wow. a hard line between a sound effect and a piece of music. So I could take um, the sound of a footstep and then I could, like, perform it on a rhythm. And then I'm like, hmm, that makes a good drum beat. And now I'm going to, like, okay, now I'm going to do uh, a kalimba sound, like a, you know, like a, a, a plucked kind of musical sound. And we map the different notes of scale to the buttons on the DualShock controller, so you can like play melodies, or you can remix other people's melodies. Yeah. So like everything's in Dreams, it's the same philosophy. Everything you see for visual creation, we're applying those same ideas, including like using your hand and movement strokes to um, performance to sound. So um, the details will be forthcoming shortly. Yeah, that sounds amazing already. Yeah, like I'm like exclusive info right here. This is amazing. This is like wow. I just I'm need to get my head together a little bit. But okay. <laughs> I I I trust you. We can't wait till it's ready. To be sh yeah, we can't wait. Uh, speaking of virtual reality, a little birdie told me it might it might not be possible. Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh yay! <laughs> amazing in VR, we have to do it, it's amazing, I'm very excited. So the number one thing for every game VR is to hit a good frame rate. So the thing about VR is like, unless you can hit a very high frame rate, then you're going to feel ill when you're moving your head around. Yeah. And we have some fix up our sleeve, but the reason I have to be cautious is because we haven't actually put um, a lot of time and effort, we're a small studio, so we're focusing on non-VR, because I think the majority of people who play Dreams initially will, will be in the non-VR world. But we absolutely have to do VR, and, the, and, our, and our biggest battle, which is the same for every title, will be to hit frame rate. And what's cool about Dreams is actually we, we, we change the frame rate depending on the scene. So simpler scenes will run at 60 already, even without any effort. Like yeah. Run at 60. So the simple scenes, um, the simple Sorry. scenes, the, uh, the the VR is probably going to be pretty pretty easy to do. But for like more complicated ones, it'll be tough. So our phone's about to die with all the questions, so they wanted to be lost in the abyss. It's like two percent left. So yeah, okay. VR is uh, like, I, I don't know the dates for it, but we've got to try it, right? This dreams could be the best thing in VR ever, so uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, Sorry about that. Yep. Uh, yeah. VR is awesome. Um, what about motion sickness? How do you plan to tackle on that, besides uh, the framework uh, issue? We haven't tried it yet, so we'll have to see. I mean, with uh, like the point I was making about motion sickness is a general one. It's not a dreams thing, right? Like, in VR, you have to be super aware of, of what you're doing with the player, and um, like make sure they're not sick, and it's just about making sure we design it well. And we'll do a good job and, and, and just like every other game we have to take that into account but I'm excited and I think it'll be it'll be good. Awesome. Uh, how many players can, can create in one session? Like, Do you have like a whole canvas where you get invite as many people as you want and many and like jam together? Like a jam oh, session? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay uh, that's yeah. <laughs> at the moment there's no limit which is a bit crazy because there is a limit in the sense that like it'll get just chaos. So um, The lag. A lot of the, a lot of the limit is going to be about um, uh, 
it's like a balance between what connections you have, like broadband and like what far, how fast your connection is. Right now the game doesn't base a limit and part of having the beach trail will be about finding what the right limits are, like what works well in the wild. Like it's one thing to test on your office network, it's another thing to test on mm. your own broadband connections. So uh, yeah, I don't know, I mean we, we've done like four, five, six player sessions but it, we may have to cap it if it gets too intense, I, I don't know. I mean there's, there's, there's uh, it's all about the experiment. Hopefully we'll see in the beta. Hopefully we'll see how far we can go. Stress tests, those are awesome. Maybe in that test bed too, like you showed us back in the stream a while ago. That Dave had. Yeah. Um, let's see what we have here. Uh, trying to find a good one. Uh, oh yeah. Um, so you said this game will have logic. Like logic that's really friendly and stuff. I don't know how much you can talk about that just yet. But um, yeah. You know the LBP logic, then it's that, but evolved. And I mean, we we were, we've been replaying Little Big Planet two and, and a little bit of a Little Planet three to kind of remind ourselves of the details of like exactly what was good in the Little Big Planet electronics and what can be improved. And there's actually a cool system that we're working on on top of that, which is new, which we didn't have an LBP, which is basically um, the idea is this: anything you can do in the game, whether it's like driving a car uh, or like uh, using the create tools or um, creating objects, stamping objects down. Uh, you can hit record just like you saw earlier in the stream and uh, you can use that as like um, what happens when you do something so the idea is you can make a level and you can say when the player crosses the bridge do this and you're like system says well what do you want to happen and you're like well I'll hit record and I want three rocks to be created and then I want the skull to fall over and then I want the ground to lift up right so you just do it using the tools so if you know how to play dreams you know how to record the effects that you want to happen so the idea is that you can then wire um, the cause of like, I don't know, player collects something or player jumps over or something happens and then you can do the effect using just record mode. So that's pretty cool for beginners because you don't have to worry about like, wiring up movers and um, gyros and all those other companies. Yeah. Electronics. They'll be there for the advanced creators. They took you from the stream. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you can just uh, do it really quickly by doing it with the tools. That's really cool. Like, I was trying to see logic being performance based like everything else is. I wonder if that's possible. Yeah. The way that you perform is that you hit record and you perform, mm -hmm. and then under the hood, it wires up that performance to the ga gadgets. So yeah. That's how you do it. So like the performance is you just use the tools. You're not thinking about like you're doing gadget under the hood. It's gadgets. Yeah. But, like the way that you do the performance is you just play the game. You use the tools. That's really cool. Uh, uh, how about the story mode? Like I know you guys were gonna make like a scene to introduce the players on dreams, like and how to interact and stuff. Like the way you cleverly gonna do the tutorials, like you said before, like mowing the lawns secretly, like like subtracting um like the data, like like erasing something, and stuff like that. And, like for the story mode, I was watching um uh, Paris interview um a couple of days ago actually on the way here, and uh I realized you were talking about the story mode, how um you were gonna have characters and inside you're supposed to help their dreams, like part of the story. I don't know if you can talk about that yet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, at the moment we're focusing on the beach content because that's our focus is to get this into people's hands. And um, the really cool thing is that, like, um, uh, the thing about the, the beta is it's not focused on the story. So the, sto so, um, the story is going to come later. Basically, we haven't finished the story. We're still working on it. Yeah. Um, so if I talked to you about the story, I'd be making it up. I'm not okay. I'm making anything up. I mean, uh, we have some ideas for the story, but our focus right now is for the creators. Because basically, um, we're using the story for, like, as a way in towards uh, once the beat is winding up the story is really to bring in everybody the mass market the gamers yeah if you're not into creating you'll be able to play our story but uh, for the beta audience for you guys who are really into the game uh, the focus is to create like what do you guys make with it what stories do you want to make yeah uh, so I mean uh, I'm, I can't really answer the question about our story yet because like we haven't finished it yet and I, I would just be like i tell you something today and then it's gonna be a big surprise a really big surprise in the end yeah, that's the most important part it'll be a surprise for all of us even, not even yeah everybody we have some ideas for what's gonna be in it but Ooh. Um, surprise a big surprise yeah. yeah uh speaking of the beta um hopefully it comes out early next year um obviously uh we can't wait to see what you guys have in store for that um it's gonna be a lot of fun i i don't know anything about the beta just saying but i know it's gonna be a lot of fun because seeing dreams is a lot of fun already everything yeah seeing creaming today everything if you check out the streams earlier I believe that some of the play content that we've created is, is seen everything you've seen you'll be able to do in the beta and more there'll be there'll be hopefully more features in the beta like exactly what we put in it should be everything you've seen today polished improved bugs removed Ooh. so um, you know we are gunning to put everything we possibly can in the beta and, and, and the beta isn't even just a single thing right like yeah it's an evolving thing that takes gradually over time like um, yeah 
trade-off you always make when you're making games is like how much we put out that's polished versus you, you guys want everything all the time but at the same time you want a good experience so the balance is going to be like um, we will give you stuff as soon as we can as fast as we can and it's just about making sure that it's always a good experience yep uh, yeah, we, a lot of people can't wait for that um, especially on Twitter like can we the beta I'm like soon <laughs> I don't know but soon <laughs> I hope the beta trial like runs forever, you know, like I, I think forever and ever. Well, I don't know, <laughs> but like um, it's just not one thing. It's not like it, we do it and then we leave it and we forget about it. It's, it's a thing that's going to evolve with the, with the product. Definitely. Um, speaking of characters, like I just saw so many characters already. Like a pancake. You guys made The Last of Us. The um. The kicker dude, and was, everything was so fascinating. And you can make like four legged creatures, right? Too. Like, you have multiple legs, multiple hands, not just a standard uh, human biped. Right, so at the yeah. Moment, the biped is the most easy way to make characters, but of course, as soon as you say someone there's a limitation, like in LBP, you say there's three layers, and they're like, aha, it's fine. It. <laughs> and um, I feel like uh, for Dreams, uh, we, we, we focused on the biped, and immediately, uh, uh, Mike, for example, made the uh, banana, uh, the um, coffee mug, Ooh. which is. Uh, you know, like no legs as far as I can see. Mm -hmm. And um, I think Victor's already made a dog, yeah, puppy that you can run out around us. But he's doing That's that cool. by using the biped. Now, interestingly, you can also use the physics and the joints and systems like that to create as many arms and limbs and stuff as you like. But you won't get the assistance that the biped gives you, right? So the biped yeah. is alive. You place a biped and um, it's already got AI, it's already got a walk cycle. So you guys are going to find creative ways to extend that to all kinds of characters. Um, but, the, but the sort of like, on the box it says biped, but I'm sure you guys will be able to take it elsewhere. And if you want to go um, manual and basically wire up the legs with electronics and, and animation and gadgets and joints and stuff, you can do that too. So the sky is really the limit. It's just a question of how much effort you want to put in. That's the thing with dreams. Like pretty much everything is going to be possible, including stuff we couldn't even imagine. You guys are probably going to do it. And it's just a question of what's super easy versus what you can like drill into. I think um, the biped is all about making it easy, easy, easy to make characters. And who knows? Maybe we'll do a uh, special dog meat mode uh, in the in the future. Ooh, but, uh, so many. We'll see. We'll see what happens. There's plenty of time to plan and to experiment. That's what makes streams really cool. Because it's the journey we are doing this all together with. You know, you guys, me, Molecule, and us, the community. We're all like working together in a way to find out what dreams is. Right, and right. yeah, and it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, but we have both the dreams. The heart of dreams is like what we think it is. But like you guys are gonna help us like flesh out. All of the other parts of what this would be the best beta ever in terms of capability and in terms of meetingness. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of logic and stuff, some people were asking me, is it possible to like program and stuff too, like for the advanced users, or is that something like you would want to try to do one day? It's not really a definite yeah, yes. Experimented with that. So, um, oh. Uh, we, 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 let me see the E3, uh, the E3 trailer uh, behind the scenes actually was built uh, using a, a prototype of a scripting language. So we, we actually had some programming. Ooh. It didn't feel particularly dreamy, so it's kind of on a back burner right now. Like, we know how to do it, we could do it, it's not our focus. Um, I feel like the electronics and the gadgets is a little bit more like um, fun and game like, and it, it matches better to the performance. Like, it's difficult to integrate the performance of programming, but it's definitely something we could do. We have done it, and at the moment it's on the back burner, to be honest. So, wow. don't hold your breath, but on mm -hmm. the other hand, it's, it's actually in the code base, it's just currently switched off, and uh, we'll have to see where, where we go with that. If you guys are excited by it, then... The future is, uh, holds many surprises. We'll see what happens then. Right, we can, we can, we can reprioritize it in the future, maybe. Uh, is there any like type of information you want to tell the community about Dreams that you haven't said yet? Like, anything you want to show or anything at all? Like, like right here, right now? Uh, like, anything? You just want to be, like, down below it. Like, this is the last, last stream for PSX. Like, a little teaser or a surprise or anything. No pressure. <laughs> I, think, I think we've been live streaming this channel for, like, two days. I think, I think pretty much, like, uh... We showed everything we can show today. Um, oh yeah. I mean, uh, what's one of the features that I think um, you've seen, but maybe you haven't even noticed, is like this collections idea. So right now at the bottom of the screen, mm -hmm. there are these collections, and, and Kareem's really been big on this, which is the idea of curating. Nice. Use something like Pinterest. I think that's super cool. Uh, basically, you can follow people, so people might have great taste in in levels, and they might have great taste in creations, and then they can build up these collections, which are almost like um, Pinterest boards of cool stuff that they've collected in a particular theme. It doesn't even have to be like a theme, it could be like characters, it could be like levels, it could be colors, it could be uh, paintbrushes, and I feel like 
Most people have asked me about like, is it LBP and is there text search and stuff? But actually, the, that search stuff is there. You can do text search, but the way more interesting way to find content in Dreams, whether you're creating or whether you're playing, is actually through like the social side of of, of like looking at people and stuff that they've curated. And like, um, I think that's going to be the uh, I think that's going to be real game changer for the way Dreams feels compared to like. Um, uh, say LBP or other user <laughs> I just looked there, I just saw that chicken with uh, <laughs> <the hell dream. laughs> anyway, I love I this. We, I think that's a, uh, is there any more questions? Uh, I'll just do one more. Is there a way to move objects in a piston like way that isn't puppeteered? Like, is it done in numbers and stuff? Like it, like the original roots from the planet? Like yeah, there, there are movers and there are gadgets and you can like... Um, uh, one of the cool things is actually that, that uh, if, you, if you do an animation which is like, um, just an up and down, there's a grid mode and there are assist modes and then you basically have that as an animation, you can then scrub the animation. So the really cool thing is, yes, you can do the simple thing of moving in a piston, and then you can drive that with, with logic. Mm -hmm. What's really cool is, actually, we've built um, levels where you can see grab an object and then move it along a, a, a path, and then, say, maybe you could have a little, um, maybe a platform that moves on rails, and then you can drive where that platform is using the logic. So you can yeah. actually have movers and pistons which move along RP paths, so it's even more powerful than LBP. So all right. yes, it's the short answer. All right. So that's basically all the questions I have. Alex and Kareem, thank you so much. Let's end the uh, last stream in a really f uh, f awesome way. How can we do that? Let's see. Okay. Well, I just have to say thank you to you. Oh, thank you to you. Thank you to the whole community of Dreambubble. Yeah. And, um, and this replicator tool is designed to make the engine programmer, basically me, Simon, and Anton, cry. <laughs> uh, with a single click, you get to duplicate and make tentacles and, and repetition, which is just such a powerful, fun way to create. Um, but it obviously creates incredibly intricate levels really quickly, and the engine programs cry. But it looks like the PS4 can keep definitely up, really so well. Yeah, um, just imagine this, and imagine what you could do, and you can replicate and uh, duplicate anything. And so, Dreams is what you make it. Uh, it's a real dream of the video game uh, industry because you get so much stuff you can make here that's really quicker than the actual using polygons and all that jazz. Because you're using clouds of points, like you mentioned before, and stuff like that. Yeah, a oh, point cloud. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's dreams is, as I say, I think dreams is going to be a new creative tool in your toolbox. It's like it stands alongside all those other things, and it's, it's faster, it's sketchier, it's performance, uh, performance yeah. 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 That's a word. And, uh, performance. I love that. that we're like able to bring that kind of jamming to every aspect of game making and I think that like right. I'm so happy that um, you guys are into it that everyone's excited begin to understand the dreams it's so hard to explain to people um, but you guys seem to get it thank you and it's like the reason it's hard to explain is because this is the most ambitious thing we've ever made it's like absolutely I've, I've, we've had game developers come up to us recently and say I didn't understand it because I didn't realize how insane you are <laughs> to like do all of this stuff and dreams is really our our like superstar what can we do? How insane can we go? I hope we succeed. We can only try. That's the that's the spirit of Media Molecule. Let's jump off a cliff. Let's build something amazing and then see what you guys do it when when we put it in your hands. Yeah. That's the that's the the payoff, yeah. right? The payoff for us as a team at Media Molecule is when you guys, the community, start using it. Dream together. Hashtag dream together. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. And I, I've never seen this creation style. So we're oh, wow. stream on a on a brand new. Dream has developed a new way of creating. Is that a cell, like in the human body? I've never. Have you done that before, Green? Yes, this is a new technique. This is a new technique debuting here on this stream. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. Lobby said, oh, okay. Okay. I've seen this before, but like it's cool. Can you spin that donut? It's a different style, but it's pretty cool. Like basically, you can take an object on your hand, you can spin it, and then you can you can use that to kind of bring a bit of randomness and, and kinetic. Uh, wow, this is so cool. A red blood cell. I don't know. Uh, this, is this is like an amusement park right here. Who needs to pay a uh, 575 mission ticket to Six Flags or whatever? This is like amazing right here. This is like a wild attraction. <laughs> this is unique creation. You can't do this any other way. Uh, Dreams, uh, PS4, PSX, and uh, thank you, Danny, for the stream. Thank, thank you, you, you too. Oh, we should make like a really big object. Let's place it just to finish this all off. Like, just get the biggest object you can and just let's, go crazy. Let's go and, crazy with yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, also, a big shout out to um, Anton, Maya, uh, John, to who else is on the stream? Alex, to Bon, um, Jenny, and Alex. You guys too. Dave in the back. You may not know him, but he did a lot. He saved my life twice with this thing right here. It's amazing. Um, and everybody else who was here on the stream, all of the live streamers. I was quietly sitting behind, watching everybody doing their thing, and 
seeing them and Shuhei too and yeah. whoever was really excited about this like thank you so much I can tell everyone was really tired all the hard work here me and Molecule they're well spirited people like I can see them high flying before going uh doing a plan they're all that spirit inside of them and like they're so happy to see each other every single time to come in here it's like really amazing you have no clue how much I have a passion about dreams I was talking to Dave the gameplay former grammar guy about how much we like Literally, our conversation was like a half-hour interview, but it was a mere conversation. It was amazing how passionate they are about this, and hopefully the community can be really passionate about this too. So shout out to everyone who worked their butts off today. Um, I'm really proud of you guys, and thank you so much for the opportunity, Alex. And to you, Kareem, I guess we can finally see this nice, really abstract. Right, and uh, guys, um, they're doing a live stream on Double Fine on Monday, uh, 10 p.m. PS, uh, PST, uh, twitch.tv slash... 10 a.m. PST. Thank you, Alex. See, we all help each other some way or form. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Twitch.tv is a baby molecule. Bye bye. Hope you enjoy PSX. Woohoo! Woo! And how we stop this? It's a button. Yep, we're out.